what first gave you like the passion for getting this uh, type of work? I know everybody was uh, looking to hear about that. Well, my story is cinema I started with my mother because my mother, uh, I lived with my mother and we didn't have a lot of money. So okay. our only real attraction was going to the movie theater because the movie okay. theater is was well, cheap, especially in France. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's very affordable and we could go often. But then I, when I was like 11, I was behaving not that well in class. And I, and I had a definition to make a movie about how you behave in class. And we were like, no, that's a curse. Yeah. We loved it. And we made the movie that was like a, supposed to be a definition and it became just a never stopped. See, now that would not be the first time that somebody went into something that they were kind of reluctant and then yeah. after a while was like, hey, I like this. Well, why did I reject it for, you know, for so long? So, um, that was a good all the time, yeah. yeah. So it's been a while since I was like 12 years old, let me know I want to do this. Okay. And uh, then I did, I did high school with cinema option. Okay. And I've done studies of cinema, general cinema, general cinema, and now I'm in production studies at the Okay. So, uh, what other projects, like, uh, in the future, you, I, I imagine you must have, like, a line of projects that you're thinking of, but maybe some with more priority than the other ones? What's up for you for the future? Yeah, so I spent a lot of work on this one, this two-minute short film that took me 30 months and cost like nearly 60,000 heroes. Okay. And I'm gonna fight a lot to distribute it, so okay. get the in as many festivals as possible. But then I want to go in another direction to write a, a limited series. Okay. That's one of my next plan about bakery. Okay. okay. Like a, a kind of a sci-fi fantastic story about French bakers. That sounds, that sounds I think a lot of people are very intrigued with science fiction and bakery and bakery. You're going to attract a lot of people that like to eat, which all of us like to eat, and the size of life. That's, that's a great combination. Yeah. 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 And overall, I think uh, it relates to something you said earlier. Dream, uh, dreams are just reality that hasn't happened yet. It hasn't happened yet, yeah. yeah. The story of this the ministry is kind of related to that. Too. Okay, okay. It shows that idea. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think people would give themselves a favor to kind of remember that about dreams, you know, because the present that we're living right now, it was sort of a dream back in the past. I agree. And yeah, what, what the bakers dream about, you know? That's right. Who knows? More bakeries. More maybe, bakeries. maybe it's... More pastries, more donuts. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, no, I saw uh, Italian uh, pasta chocolate and gave me a pasta chocolate. So, uh, and that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank you very much. Thank you for being on my show. And I wish you much success in your future. Keep those ideas pumping out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you everybody for uh, listening to another one of my segments for Edward S. Rickard's Entertainer Chat on the fly, or as I like to say, on the go. And uh, until the next time, uh, with my next guest, I don't know who it's going to be, I guess this is going to be, and uh, you just have to stick around and find out. And until next time, have a good day, and see you next time.